What's going on, my beautiful DC brothers and sisters? It's your boy, The Truth 31. Hit like, subscribe for all that DC goodness on your face, neck, and chest. And this is a video on how Zack Snyder really brought me back into the world of DC Comics and really made Superman relevant again because as far as the films have gone, all, we, all we've had was Christopher Reeve Superman and the Brandon Routh Superman. And for a long time, that was the staple. That was the way you handled Superman. Every Superman film had to be like the Christopher Reeve Superman films. And as a fan of Christopher Reeve, and I love Christopher Reeve, Christopher Reeve will always be number one in my heart. Zack Snyder did something different. He was like, you know what? As much as I love those movies, he went back to the source material. He really, truly reinvigorated the Superman lore, the, the Superman mythology of people's love for Superman. And he brought something different, but yet stayed true to who Superman is. And for a lot of people who are used to the Superman from, you know, the Christopher Reeve movies and the TV shows and the animated uh, shows and movies, it was kind of a... Uh, a startling, you know, uh, revelation for them because they were like, wait a minute, that's not Superman. That's not how Superman acts. That's not how I envision Superman. Well, in all reality, that that is Superman. If you've read comics, which a lot of people don't, unfortunately, that's the Superman that we hardcore DC Comics fans who love Superman, who love the character, who love the DC world, we recognized immediately, like, oh, yes, Zack Snyder was the one director to actually stay true to the source to the source material and stay true to who Superman is as a character. Superman is a complex character. He's not just this, you know, guy who saves cats out of trees and always smiles and hugs people and saves the day. That's a part of Superman, but that's it. That's a part of Superman. Superman is a complex human being slash God slash alien, like, which makes him so uh, relevant, which makes him so interesting. Like, there's a reason why the Superman character has been around for 80 plus years, because people love this character. There's so much more to him than just, you know, the red booties and the fucking cape and the S on his chest. We love this character. And, and Zack Snyder brought that complexity to the big screen in a way that we've never seen before. And that's why people gravitate towards Zack Snyder Superman. Like people gravitate towards this more down to earth, complex, layered, uh, Kryptonian, <laughs> this this layered, complex Superman. It's because we can relate to Superman. Like uh, uh, the biggest complaint that people have towards Superman is that he's not relatable. Like we can't relate to Superman. Well, that's a load of bullshit because we can relate to Superman. Like everyone has felt lonely. Everyone has felt like a loner. Like everyone has felt that they don't fit in. Like not everyone knows what to do. Like in this world, you know, the people feel lost. That's who Superman is in this movie, in Man of Steel. And that's what Zack Snyder showcased so brilliantly is that this God on Earth feels like a loner, feels like he doesn't fit in. And it resonated with so many people and with so many kids. It, was, it resonated with me just like because for the first time ever watching a Superman film, I actually related to Superman. It made me understand the character a lot more because at that time when man of steel was released i never i gave up on comic books you know i used to read them as a kid you know i read marvel and dc and stuff like that batman and superman and i've always liked the, the character of superman but he was never like one of my uh top guys he was never like one of my favorites but i always i always admired what he stood for and you know that and, and, and i always thought that the character was was cool but as far as you know, the, the film goes, it, it never really, it, it like it never really delivered on that promise of uh, or or delivered like, oh, this is Superman, like like I can get behind this Superman, like this is why Superman is cool. You like you want a reason why Superman is so much better or so much cooler than Batman? Here you go, pop in Superman Returns, <laughs> which was which was said by no one, unfortunately, because again, I think Brandon Routh is an underrated Superman. But that movie didn't really do him any favors, and overall, that movie is a mixed bag for you know whichever, whichever side you fall on. So it never really took off, and and that's the problem with Superman films that it never really, it was never really a voice for a generation. It it, it was never that oh man, 
if you if you don't like Superman, go watch this movie. Like this movie is gonna change your mind. This movie is gonna blow your mind. That was until Man of Steel came out and Zack Snyder, and that was the movie that really resonated with me. That movie hit home with me. I saw Man of Steel six times in theaters. Six times. Now I rarely, rarely see a movie more than once, and the fact that Man of Steel just it, it just. I don't know what it was. Well, I know what it was. It was a fucking awesome movie. Like the visuals and, and the story, the music, like it just hit home. And that really uh, reinvigorated my love for comics. And matter of fact, when Man of Steel was released and I saw that movie, I loved it so much. I, I found a, a local comic book store here in New York. Uh, it, was, it was a Midtown Comics. Shout out to Midtown Comics. Shout out to those people who live in New York. Midtown Comics is the shit. Like I went to Midtown Comics and I just started picking up DC. Like it, like that movie, what Zack Snyder managed to do was just strike a chord within me that just again, like I said, re just it rejuvenated my love for for DC Comics and I just started picking up Superman comics after Superman comics, Batman comics, Wonder Woman comics, anything I can get my hands on. Like that was it. Like that's what Man of Steel did for me. And now I'm like balls deep in comics. Now I'm just like every Wednesday, I just pick up every new DC comic I can find. Superman, Batman, uh, Green Lantern, Flash, Justice League, whatever I, I can get my hands on, I'm picking it up. Thanks to Zack Snyder. That's what Zack Snyder did, not only for me, but for millions of people, which is why so many people rock with Zack Snyder because he's a fucking cool ass dude. He's like, he's one of those rare directors who's not a fucking douchebag. Like he actually interacts with his fans. He actually gives a shit about what we think and what we say about our opinions and our takes on our film, on the films that he makes. Why we fucking showcase our love for for Man of Steel because so many of these bloggers shit on it and this and that and say, oh, Zack Snyder's a sexist or oh, Man of Steel is not the Superman movie that we need right now. It's like, no, 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 no. No, and you see it over time. You see Man of Steel becoming more and more popular with people because they actually started watching the movie and not listen to every other critic who think they, who thinks they know better. They they saw the movie and and they realized, oh shit, this is a good movie. It's not it's it's not just a good Superman movie. It's not just a good comic book movie. It's a good movie. Period. And that's why we love it. That's why we love Zack Snyder. That's why we love Man of Steel because Man of Steel is so awesome. Like no other comic comic book movie has has that big of scope and grandeur to it, other than Aquaman because I love Aquaman. But as far as the Superman movie goes, like like this Man of Steel Superman movie is brilliant. Brilliant action fight sequences, which like rival anything that's out right now to this day. As a beautiful score, Henry Cavill is Superman. He looks like Superman. He talks like Superman. He acts like Superman. Like, like this guy, Henry Cavill, it looks like he just stepped out of a comic book panel and just was translated to the to the real world right now. Like he materialized into the real world as Superman. Like every time you see Henry Cavill on screen, you don't think, oh man, he's a good Superman. No, he, he's a, you just think, oh, that's Superman. That's Superman right there. That's who I want to see. I believe this guy to be Superman. And that's what Zack Sander managed to do. And that's what uh, Henry Cavill managed to do. That that's what that's why we love Man of Steel. I that's why I love Man of Steel. Like Man of Steel, I watch it almost every day. I watch it almost every day. I have a problem, okay? <laughs> I should not watch Man of Steel every day, but I do because it resonates with me because it's it has it holds a special place in my heart because it brought me back into comics. It, into a world that I just completely abandoned when, when I was younger or growing up in teens because you know I was into, you know, uh, at school girls and all that stuff, but Man of Steel managed to bring me back and even though we had like Superman, the animated series. We had Smallville, which was also a big part of my childhood. We had like Lois and Clark and you know, Superman Returns, Superman the movie with Christopher Reeve, all this stuff. But for some reason, even though I love those shows, I, I love those shows, I love those movies, Man of Steel just struck a different chord within me. And I'll always be appreciative of what Zack Snyder managed to do with Superman and Man of Steel. But anyway, those are my thoughts. Smash that like button my beautiful dc brothers and sisters subscribe hit me up on twitter instagram let's continue having a dc conversation as always support dc love dc if you love man of steel let me know in the comments down below let me know what man of steel did for you did it change you like it changed me because it definitely changed me it changed me for the better it brought me back into something that i missed that i loved and that's the world of comic books specifically dc comics because dc will always be number one 
Superman, always number one, Batman, Wonder Woman, all that good stuff. It resonated with so many people around the world, which is why so many people love Man of Steel. So there you go. As always, truth out.